Transmitted infections that are rising here in central Illinois are gonorrhea and chlamydia. Here's Gianna Jow with the McLean and Tassel County Health Departments on this concerning trend. Gonorrhea, chlamydia, and syphilis are the most common STIs in the United States. STIs are on the rise, especially um, post-COVID, because for a few years people were not getting the medical services that they needed. McLean and Tazewell counties are seeing an increase in STIs, specifically gonorrhea and chlamydia, and the most common age to contract them is from the teens into the early 30s. So for every 100,000 people, there's 314 that have chlamydia. Especially with three universities here in town, we do tend to see the, the high school to college mm -hmm. crowd, the 15-year-olds and up into even 30 years old. According to Planned Parenthood, some may experience pain and burning when urinating, while other symptoms can go unnoticed. Especially in males, you're not going to have symptoms. Um, females are more likely to have symptoms, but even females don't sometimes. And that's why, from the CDC at the federal level to these county health watchers, they all say getting tested is very important. If a number of STIs occur and are not treated in a prompt manner, there can be serious reproductive um, consequences for that. And they do have free STI services. A brown bag test or a pee and flea test, you'll hear it called. It's at absolutely no charge. Typically, those results come back in five days. Gianna Jow, 25 News. A long